two hours later. Hello. Wow. Welcome to our vlog. You have to turn it like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now it's too yeah. late. <laughs> Why did you make me cross the street in the middle of the vlog? Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll help the llama go ready instead of... Look at them. Oh my god. Yeah, Why, does look at that. So Why does it look so good? <laughs> Three days later. Phone is about to die, but yeah, the view. Okay, okay. After I got these delicious French macarons, macaroons, um, it all went wrong. So I'm here with my buddies. I'm gonna try to explain to you what happened that night. So I'm in Brighton, right, all the way on the coast. I need to get to a Stansted Airport up near Cambridge, right? So that's. I don't know, like 50 miles, 40 miles, I don't know. So someone got hit by a train, okay? So they shut down the train lines running from Brighton. And I'm like, uh. So I need to get from Brighton to London and then catch a train from London to Cambridge. And that area is where I get off. Uh, so I, my train's delayed. I'm like, whatever, I'll wait an hour. I wait an hour, nothing happens. I wait another hour, they cancel my train. I book a, I book the next train that goes to London, okay? They cancel that train after 30 minutes. I say, what train is going to London? I need to get on it as soon as it, they open up the train lines again. And they say, okay, go to platform two. I go to two, they cancel that train. Finally, over the overhead speakers, they say, platform eight is leaving to London. 
as soon as I say that, it was like a stampede. There were so many people in that station with delayed trains and canceled trains. So I would have filmed it, but I probably would have been thrown onto the tracks and also hit by a train because if I stopped, like I would have been mauled and run over. So I jump on that train. We're packed in there like sardines. I have to pee. I'm like, I'm going to pee myself in front of hundreds of people. That's so fun. We start moving. We get to the Gatwick Airport Station, which is still not in London, right? And the train stops and we sit there for 20 minutes and they don't open the doors and they don't let anyone else on, but we're also not moving. And they kick us off and they say, this train terminates, sorry, we can't keep going with this train. So I'm stuck at the Gatwick Airport Station waiting, I think like 30 minutes for the next train. Okay, we all crowd onto that one finally get to London at 12.30, I think. Mind you, I was supposed to leave at 6.45 from Brighton. It's 12.30. I'm in this station. I don't remember. It was scary and dark, okay? I get to the platform where my train is leaving to Cambridge and Stansted Airport. I missed it, and it was the last one, and I missed it by two minutes. I messaged my friend, and I'm starting to panic and cry because I don't know what to do, um, but then I pushed that aside. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> there has to be a bus or something. Thank God for Google Maps for letting me know that there is a bus, an airport shuttle that's meant to take people with bags and stuff to the airport so they can fly out, the Stansted Airport where I live, or in the area where I live. So I cross a dark, scary bridge um, at 12.30 in the morning, um, walking around this area I've never been to in the middle of London. Um, very scary. Would not recommend. He was late by 20 minutes, I think. Finally get onto that bus. He's like, do you have a ticket? I said, please, I just want to go home. Like, can I buy a ticket later? Whatever. He says, yeah, that's fine. Just get on. Bus ride to the airport takes about an hour. I get to the Stansted Airport near the area where I live, right? And I get off. I pay for my ticket. The fact that I had to pay for my ticket delayed me just enough that I missed the next bus going to the area where my work away is, where my caravan is, where I live. So I had to wait another 50 minutes, basically another hour for the next bus. Jam pack onto that one with all these airport workers, okay? And it takes me another hour to get here. Plus a 10 minute walk in the dark because my street has no street lights. I got home at three in the morning so anyway, that was my journey.